Thanks everyone for joining us. Today we are talking with Simon, who might look like Adam Sandler or be called the captain. He's from <laughs> Morocco, but doesn't like Moroccan hot sauce or ice cream. It's too cold for his hot blood. He wishes yeah. he was from Norway if it wasn't so cold. He's obsessed with space and astrophotography and has too many space photos to count. So today he's sharing about Morocco. So welcome, Simon. Oh, thank you for having me. This is awesome. That's a <laughs> fun introduction. It is fun. Welcome, <laughs> Simon. So I'm going to start our seven minute timer. We're, there it goes. And okay. can you just tell us um, why uh, Morocco, why do you love it? What's so special about it for you? So Morocco is a very special place. It's a melting pot of uh, three uh, big cultures, European, African, Middle Eastern. So I was born. It's always a joy when I take people there and uh, I make them uh, live and feel uh, the excitement and uh, the, the Moroccan experience again. That's great. That's wonderful. So what are some of the most must-see places if we come to Morocco? So the city where I'm from is called Marrakesh. It's uh, pretty much the city that will give you the authentic lifestyle of Morocco. And if you go to the old town, it's like literally traveling back in time to see how people used to live oh, three, wow. 400 years ago. They're still making this like neighborhoods have their own uh, kind of like uh, a traditional oven where, you know, every house will send the kids with the, you know, uh, bread that it's made from scratch every morning for, for lunch. So there's still a lot of lifestyles like that. Um, the Sahara Desert, spend the night under the, the stars in a tent, or, you know, right in the Camel Inn. It's it's a must too. Uh, if you want to go up north, uh, the blue city, Shavshawn, is uh, very Instagrammable. Uh, Fes is also a city of a lot of uh, ancient culture um, for Northern Africa, especially Morocco. I think Fes had the first university um, in the modern world, actually what was made there. Uh, so depending on what you want, Morocco has, uh, uh, you know, beaches all over the place. If you want to go uh, to Agad, Casablanca or Tangier up in north, the Sahara and also the culture with, with Marrakesh, so. Wow, that sounds beautiful. So you mentioned the bread and we always ask about food. So I'm gonna ask the food question. <laughs> yeah, what, food. Do you, what do you got to share with us about the amazing food there? And yes, the, the Moroccan culinary um, is very rich. Uh, well, the Moroccan dishes are a little bit um, heavy because they take time, but they're also very simple and there's a variety. Uh, obviously, the, the famous one is couscous um, with vegetables or meat, but also the tagine, it's, uh, it's kind of like a traditional dish where it's like a, a pot where you you put in uh, vegetables and meat uh, if you if you eat meat and let them uh, cook slowly so every region has its own kind of like spices and its own way of making things up so uh, yeah so if you go to Morocco you have a lot of food one thing though um, we have a lot of bread in, in our dishes. So you eat a lot of bread if you go to Morocco. Sure. <laughs> That's good. We love bread, right, April? Yeah, we like bread. We love <laughs> the too. smell of bread. We always are talking about bread. So yeah. <laughs> I think I could, I could live with that. So Sweet. when people come to Morocco, what do you think they're most surprised by? What are they? So a lot of changes have happened in Morocco. Um, a lot, some people think that Morocco is still that uh, very close-minded uh, country and people are super uh, traditional, but you'll be surprised that uh, Morocco is a country where there's a lot of differences living all together, different uh, religions, different cultures, and uh, people get surprised at how uh, modern and also, for example, in Morocco, is you could be walking in, in the old town, a little tiny open door of one of the houses, and inside is like a huge luxury castle or a garden and, and like a, a little pool. And it's okay. it's fascinating. It's like you literally go in, in and out of uh, kind of like a, a fantasy of stories, oh, be, wow. you know, coming up from the past, but also you live in now so yeah that's why the i think marrakesh has been voted one of the top exotic cities to go to for the fifth year in a row uh last year you know this year 
Wow. There, there's no tourism, wow. but yeah, and the, so that's the thing that people get surprised for is the mixture of of uh, the authentic, the tradition, but also the modern, the luxurious, but also the simple lifestyle. Yeah. Wow. Wow. So, what is your favorite photography location? Yeah, it's you like also. Some... Go ahead. Yeah, yeah. Go ahead. I was. I yeah, I was just going to ask what your favorite photography location was. You sent us some beautiful photos, so I think you enjoy doing that as well. Yes. Uh, so for me, I, I really love, uh, you know, I, I like space and stars and stuff. So the yeah. Sahara will be the place to be, okay. especially for sunsets and sunrises. Yeah, you'll, you'll get the best kind of like landscape views over uh, the horizon. Uh, the authentic uh, houses and doors and uh, architecture in Marrakesh or Fez is really something to not miss up. Uh, but also if you want to go south to Layoun where the desert meets the beach, it, there's just like a beautiful sceneries out there. Uh -huh. uh, but yeah, so uh, Morocco has always been an exciting place to be. and. I always like to give a reference to Aladdin movie uh, because you'll, you'll, if you go there, you'll actually feel like you're you're in that movie sometimes. Yeah, <laughs> that's fabulous. So yeah. connecting with locals, um, there's probably a language difference. I mean, do most people speak yes. English? And how if I visit, am I going to feel comfortable with the locals? Or tell yes. us about connecting with the locals. So um, in Morocco, most Moroccans speak at least two to three languages um, oh. you know, as you know, on the go. Uh, uh, so for me personally, I speak five. So English is my fifth language. Oh my gosh. So uh, I was born to a native Moroccan family called Berber. So we speak Berber language. And in, in the Berber language, there's three dialects in Morocco, depending on the region. There's one in the north, the middle and the south. So, and then you, so inside the family, we speak Berber. You come out to the streets and you speak the Moroccan dialect, which is a mixture of Arabic and French and Spanish and, and Hebrew. And, and uh, then if you want to go to work, it's French. So oh. French is a business language. So uh, you come out of school, like by high school, you speak at least three languages, okay? And then from there, you can add English or Spanish, uh, with, which, which I added. And also it depends on the city. So if you go to Marrakesh, you'll you'll be surprised. Some of the uh, traders there, uh, they speak seven, eight languages, oh and they've goodness. never been to school. Just wow. from interacting with tourists, it's insane. <laughs> that but is if you crazy. Go to North, oh, yeah, it's 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 fascinating. Even to me, you know, coming out of there, and I'm, sometimes I'm like, how how do you do that? But hey, they've been in business for many years. Yeah. Um, Yes, yeah, so also, so if you go to the north, uh, Tangier, for example, so it's closer to Spain, so you get a lot of people who speak more Spanish than actually okay. French. So they speak like their own local dialect, then Arabic, then the Moroccan dialect, then Sp Spanish. So that, that's, yeah, that's <laughs> Oh good. my gosh, so I'm so bummed that our seven problem. minutes is up. I know. <laughs> It you sounds so come. incredible. So I'm super, I need to come. It's another yeah. place I need to come visit. And oh, I want you're, Simon, you're, I want you to take welcome. me. Yeah, yeah, take me around and show me. <laughs> it sounds beautiful. It's such like, like you mentioned, yeah. the very rich it's, country. It's fascinating. Uh, my part. Yeah, go ahead. It's okay. It's just a, yes, it's a very rich definitely. country. Uh, Lots you're, going you're on. You're welcome. And every, everyone speaks. Uh, yeah, yeah. There's a lot going on. And if you're in a touristic city like Marrakesh, Isawira, or Agadir, most people speak English, uh, you know, so you, you'll find your way around. It'll be easy. All right. Well, that's our seven minutes, Simon. Thank you so much for sharing about Morocco. Now we all need to go if you ha didn't want to go before. Um, <laughs> and now we have a new question and answer series. So if you want to send us our question, your questions about travel or anything, we'll answer them. Uh, there's a link in our description below and travel with us through real stories from real people. Thanks, Simon. Thank you, nice. Simon. Thank you for having me.